Hi there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do a reading for November. I'm gonna do breakthrough spreads. Sorry about the shakiness there, that'll stop. I'm doing breakthrough spreads for every sign. So there will be a lot of shuffling and if you'd like to skip to the actual reading and skip the shuffling, you can. I will post that in the description at the very top um, so you know when the reading begins. But otherwise, thank you for joining me. Thanks for being here, liking, subscribing. If you want to share, sure, go ahead. But thank you for your comments too and the ways you support the channel through purchasing a private reading. There's three different prices. My range is $22 to $60. I try to keep the prices reasonable and that is in the description box below. Also, they're recorded readings and make sure you add me to your contacts. So, <laughs> with that being said, the song that came on right before your reading, Sagittarius, interesting, was the Eagles. Ooh, ooh, witchy woman, she's got the moon in her eyes. Ooh, ooh, witchy woman, yep, witchy woman, witchy woman. All right. So this breakthrough spread it has six spots. It's a breakthrough pyramid spread. We're going to use different cards to lay out each section. So the first is the pattern or what we need to have a breakthrough about. The second is going to be our challenge. And then we'll have the breakthrough card, your strength at this time, your probable outcome, and your advice from spirit. And that is Kim Cran's Wild Unknown deck. The only card that we will take in the reverse in this spread will be the from the tarot. As far as what messages are going to come through. So let's go ahead and pull the tarot too for this. Ooh, ooh, Somebody has like a secret admirer that's going to reveal themselves because I saw the moon in reverse and the page of cups. Oh, by the way, the next set of readings I'm going to do, I'll be happy to announce they're going to be at love readings. And I usually don't do it like for... <laughs> Especially when I first started this channel, it's like, no love readings for me. But none. Well, <laughs> adamantly, I'm almost like against it. And it's feeling pulled to do it. It's, it's like a, it feels like a risk. I'll just see how it is handled for each sign. But the, that will be the sole focus. So if you're interested in that, the next set of readings that come out, that's what they will be. All right. Sagittarius. Now we're going to pull from the Kipper deck. Like I said, we'll take these in the upright, everything else in the upright. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the Siren Song, which is a blend of the Lenormand and the Kipper decks. Combine. Then I'll pull from the 108 deck and then we'll be ready to start this reading. So it takes a little bit to get this spread out here, but it is worth it. It is worth the time and the effort here for this. It's a good reading. Okay, so. Whoa. Well, good luck, good clover. The clover good luck is just wanting to pop out for you even before we start. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. You have good luck here. Good luck, good fortune, a good omen. A good omen. Okay, and the last deck, the last deck here.
All right. So let's see what we have then, shall we? What time is it? Five, okay, five minutes. Yep, figured it was gonna take that. All right, so what, oh, so what we are having a breakthrough about has to do with a new, a new experience in our life. Experiencing something different that is good, that feels good. So it's the new pearl. So we are wanting to have a new beginning, a new start with this new pearl, a new experience. It could be something with love or regarding love because I have the Knight of Cups, which is an unexpected offer or something being proposed to you or it's a business offer or something like that. This is definitely a general read. <clears throat> so it can be any kind of cup being offered to you. This is like a if it's a person, this is like a really dreamy, seductive energy, like, um, I don't know, sweep you off your feet kind of energy. So that's what I got there. And I have change. It looks like a car with a bunch of things on it, like where luggage and uh, even the lamp is up there. So it looks like a whole move, like a big move, a whole big move. Maybe that is somehow intertwined with this. And then the house, this is interesting what it's paired with. The house, um, it's what you're building. And it maybe it's literally, I mean, it really could be talking about a move to a house, to a new place of residence, right? Or somebody wanting to offer you a couple of and relocate. You go, who knows? Anything's possible. And so this is a firm foundation. Um, if it's representing like you, you know, your body, your firm foundation, who you are. And then interesting with what we need to have a breakthrough about, I have the microphone and it is your energy here with number eight and Sagittarius symbol. So microphone says news, trending, broadcast, expression, strong opinion, make known, current events, public speaking, speak truth, communicate, social media being heard and speaking up. Hey, what is the challenge? It might be about speaking up because I have the challenge being Mars and that's about asserting yourself. Um, maybe about what action to take and moving forward, uh, completely detaching from a fear of leaving something behind. So this is about getting, like, getting into that energy of asserting yourself and moving forward, pushing past your fears of um, absolutely emotionally like allowing yourself to disconnect from the things that are no longer happy for you anymore. Whoa, oh my goodness. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, look at this challenge, guys. <sighs> Toil and labor, hard work, Hard work, backbreaking work, prison, could be a mind or a mental prison, and handcuffs, control, defenseless, target, handicap, held back, prey, suppress, a need to break free, detained by external forces. Oh, something, the challenge is something is making you feel like you just got to bust out of there. Like something's making you feel like you're craving freedom. You just want something to be known about that. Oh my, this even can be about speaking up and freedom of expression. Oh, this is like, cause whatever it is, the challenge, it's challenged because it's really hard. Like it's putting you in a hard work atmosphere or this is tough work. What is your breakthrough on this spirit? What is your breakthrough? It is the law of attention. It is your, uh, the glass. It is your, um, focus and attention and where it is being directed. What you focus on will magnify. So it's just a reminder from spirit to say, you can have what you want. You absolutely can create it. And, um, <laughs> A little bit of being observed, too, as you do this. This is about your focus. Yes, that's your breakthrough, is your focus. All right. And, and your focus on bodybuilder, number six, power, strength, forceful, determined, discipline, vigor, domination, for, uh, push forward, influence, leverage, mastery, resolve, intense, resistance, self-improvement, and exercise. Okay, and that definitely can be hard with a focus. Also, who is taking your energy? I have the theft card, so who's taking your energy? 
or where are we yeah where are we not seeing that something is being or somebody has been deceptive around us so that is a breakthrough is that there has been some some kind of deception here all right and i also have child some uh, I don't know, some of you all could be in a situation where you give money to somebody for a child and the, that something's not being like somebody's trying to be taking I hope not from a child, but like I feel like there is some type of deception for some of you all, not all, regarding um, how much money is being given to or for a child and that it being used for some deceptive thing uh, with themselves instead of the child. That's just, um, that's definitely not going to be everybody because it weeds out anybody that doesn't have a child in that sense. So this can also be the new beginning. And like, don't let somebody try to take something from you that is yours. And how do you do that? By your focus and by you claiming what's yours. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and the death card, uh, focus on a major ending, a change and a transformation here. That's the death card absolutely all the way something is ending the end of deception or somebody taking from you because of seeing something so clearly and also somebody like i don't know if there's competing or something for a new beginning that that can like because i'm getting the competition but somebody i feel like somebody is wanting to take something and it may be a position or they're wanting something that you want, and, and it's yours, though. And so the focus here is to be on, on what it is that you want, changing endings and transformation. So it's a, a chapter. It will be the closing of a chapter. What's your strength? The lead. Ooh. Is that you um, have dealt with situations where you've absolutely been right in the middle, <laughs> and you've had to make heavy decisions. Um, you've been through heavy transitions before where it was... Uh, one day your life could look like this the next day it looks completely different you are able to handle those transitions and that's what the lead is saying is number 82 atomic number 82 no matter how heavy a situation is like you are protected for one thing you're strong with like lead is and you are getting through a transition here um, that is your strength is you have you have done it in the past you do it again on that white and blacks really standing out on here too so almost like checkers like a ch not checkers chess like a chessboard making some big decisions um, important critical decisions and there's timing at play it's curious here <laughs> it is another Sagittarius card Sagittarius Sagittarius seven to the eight six seven eight you are in alignment Look at that, six, seven, eight. You are in alignment with that same deck there. White rabbit, spark of curiosity, gnosis, a spiritual awakening. It's time. Heeding the call. Research it. Inner knowing. Dark to light. Going down the rabbit hole and waking from the dream. Fish. The fish card is about you needing a bigger pond because you have grown. And so this is having more access to wealth, wealth resources, being able to uh, live larger and swim easier around your obstacles and problems. You're really going with flow. So you have the strength to do this. You already know it's part of, it's part of your strength is you're like a fish. You're able to swim, navigate through obstacles and challenges rather easily. Okay, that is your strength. Uh, also part of your strength is that you have been through tough times before it's just saying again like you've had to be in a it's given that vibe of being in a place where you i have to choose this or this and either option is kind of hard because of being in that uh poverty uh um feeling so it could be lack going through lack of any kind financial struggle um a health struggle um feeling left out feeling like we're in lack of friends or company or relationships like you've been there before and you swim around these hard heavy issues easily okay yeah and so and you also know that uh sometimes good things take time and there's a success here it's still here it's popping up as still this is still a success part of your strength was building something reliable maybe this is even depending on yourself 
your honesty and dependability. I don't know, something like that. Pulling through slowly but surely, knowing that sometimes success takes time and good things that you build take time and effort. Wow, so we have copper here with your outcome. These are the pleasures, the luxuries in life. I see a little bit of mercury energy here too with communication and maybe travel. Copper, I think it's number 26. Um, but copper is a, is a transition metal. So ultimately that's what's really important is that this is about a transition and the transition here also linked to Aphrodite. So you, you may have love coming in also with copper. Something where def definitely your strength is that you know there is an ending occurring because you are in a transition. It's going from feeling powerless to feeling a lot of power to knowing that you're the bodybuilder. All right, hammock. I have rest, relax, but I think it's this one right here because it seems to be a theme here in this. You are suspended between two things. You're in limbo at this time, in between space. Yeah, uh, another four. four. Four tells me that your angels are guiding you on this path and that it sometimes doesn't feel like it's the right way, but it absolutely is and you're doing a good job. And so get together has to do with maybe even people talking about that it's like coming together with friends people that want to know more about you or just socializing and having that um, camaraderie you know camaraderie and there's definitely a gift here from the universe with your outcome with two hands holding it it's a very big pinnacle so something about the luxuries and pleasures and um, that maybe if we've been without for a while then it's going to seem it's going to be absolutely nice and enjoy enjoyable. Oh, wow. Something really great. These gifts, and it's, it's almost like you're giving it to yourself. Maybe the divine setting you up for this, but it is for a lot of success. The Eight of Pentacle being in the upright means that you're going to be very successful at your skill, your craft, your trade. Um, you, if you are um, a person who's maybe even retired, then whatever it is that you're doing on that day-to-day your ordinary life is going to get spiced up a little bit more. You are in transition with that, too. It just feels like it could be a multitude of things, but know that on the day-to-day, -day, something's really going to improve and consider it a gift from the universe here, especially with your focus. Your focus. Oh, wow, and you're being guided. <laughs> Here's your advice. Let spirit guide you at this time. Let the divine guide you through your inner voice, your inner dialogue. You know, your inner dialogue that you have with yourself. Let spirit guide you. They're wanting to. They will lead you in the right place. The divine will not lead you astray. Know that if a desire is placed in your heart, on your mind, it's there for a reason. Yeah. Oh, and I'm being guided to this microphone again. Some of you all really have a purpose or some type of passion in regards to being heard, being seen, being heard performing perhaps for some these are your options and maybe you will get many different options i see pentacles here with this coin toss it says two sides to every story um 50 50 chance choices it's about choices process oh look somebody's gonna be i feel like somebody whoever this is that you're having an ending with or whatever situation you're ending like, I think they're going to be really sad because, because some things get very good for you and somebody's going to be very sad or upset is what I see, is what I see. And you could be guided through tough times by your spirit guide. If this is you feeling like, I don't know what to do or feeling like you're in despair in any way, that spirit saying, no, we're guiding you through that energy also. So don't give up. Put your focus on all of that. Something about a mature man. Some of you all may have had an older gentleman that had passed away that is now a spirit guide for you here with the mature man. Oh, and the Queen of Cups is about loving yourself, self-care, self-compassion for every stage, every period that you're in. Right? And this trans it's, it feels like a transformation of a heart opening here. On new onboarding, um, of spiritual gifts and abilities, increased intuition, eating better, exercising, uh, taking really good care of yourself. And um, for some, this mature man might be just like a, an older gentleman who has come into your life as a guide or a mentor 
through spirit guide, like divinely guided to you somehow, some way. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, as you're reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So this is a good reading. We're busting free. Busting free. Speak up. Freedom of speech. I'm really picking up on that. Speak up. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. So important. Wise discernment with the theft card in the glass at the breakthrough. Wise discernment, a gift from God in a sense. Wise discernment gifted to you. Watch out for the jealousy. Yes, watch out for jealousy. Like I said, there are some people that are going to see this, these gifts, or see you stepping into that spotlight and speaking up, and they will be jealous. And, and they bring the energy of envy and jealousy, and we just can't let that bother us. So it does say watch who you trust your personal secrets to. Interesting that these people are like um, talk, like whispering to each other in the, like, did you hear that? Did you hear what I hear? So watch who you trust your personal secrets and plans. And it says spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end and others may blossom or become stronger. Care required. Guard yourself against deception at this time. Uh, be careful of making foolish mistakes. Luck, a sudden change of luck is likely. See, there's a clover energy coming out again. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Practice after a while. You'll dance on air. Practice makes perfect. You're almost there. Assert yourself. And that is the challenge. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for a soulmate connection. It even says birth of a child also likely. And then I have the green fairy. Whenever you are feeling blue, don't fear. The fairies are protecting you with the fairy guides. And that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Sending you love and light. Bye.